In this part, we're going to pretend I'm a completely different user to the user I've been using throughout this series, and we'll contribute to the Hello World project using this code course user. Doing this is fundamental to the community side of developing on projects, since it's highly likely that you'll want to contribute to a project or others will want to contribute to your project. Now I'm quickly going to explain the difference between a collaborator and someone creating a pull request. So if I head over to my Hello World project and hit settings and then the collaborators tab, adding collaborators to your repo basically means you're giving them the ability to make any changes they want and they don't have to issue pull requests. It's important to understand this because you don't need to grant everyone collaborator access because they can still contribute to your project through pull requests. Now the reason that pull requests exist is simple. It gives other people the chance to make improvements to your code, but allows you to review the changes, comment on lines, etc. So let's look at how we do this. The first thing I want to do is fork this repository and forking basically takes someone else's repository at the point it's currently at and lets you do what you want with it. Think of it as basically making a copy of it, although it's still linked to the, uh, to the original repository in the sense that you can submit pull requests. Now, if you're still confused, don't worry, it'll hopefully will become clear very soon. So I'm going to head over to this repository, Alex Garrett slash hello world, and then I'm going to hit the fork button just here. And there we go, that's now forked. Now it's not available to us locally yet, so I'm gonna head over to my command line just here. I've created a new folder in here. That's not in the same folder as the uh, git directory. We've created a new one here. And we're gonna go ahead and clone this. So as before, I'm gonna grab the HTTPS link and I'm gonna head over to my terminal and I'm gonna say git clone and then just paste that in. So again, that's gonna clone into the hello world directory. Uh, so we'll see that just appear just in here. So once that's cloned to that directory, you can use all the knowledge you already have on committing, branching, pushing. You can just do everything as normal. Now at this point, it's good to remember that we're working as a fake another user. So this could be someone else, or it could be you on another computer. Just bear that in mind. Now, at the moment, we're not touching the original repository. You're just pushing changes up to your own forked version of it. So for example, if I go ahead and create a new file in here, uh, let's save this out as new.html and let's add code to it. So, hello new file. So over in our command uh, line now, we can just run git status and you'll see, oops, if we just cd into that, we can run git status and we see this. So we can go ahead and add that new file and we can go ahead and commit this like so, and then we can push it up. And I'm just gonna enter my credentials for this new account. And there we go. So let's check this out here. Let's hit enter. And you can see that we've got new.html. Over on the other or the original repository, we don't have that file. Obviously, that's what we're looking at. We're looking at the fact that I've just committed to my forked version of the repository, and now I want to send a request to the author of the original repository to tell them I want to push the changes into that. So all I need to do is over on GitHub, head over to the pull requests tab. I want to click new pull request. Now up here, we can see the branches that we're requesting to merge into. So if I just hit edit, in this case, you can see the base fork and the head fork. I'm basically asking for my master branch on the hello world repo to be merged into the master branch of the original hello world repo on the Alex Garrett account. Now you can edit this, particularly if a repo you're contributing to has a specific branch for developing. So you can choose uh, basically which you want to merge into from this one. So you might have a master branch in your forked and you might have a developed branch here that you want to uh, basically merge into. So we hit the create pull request and then we go ahead and give a uh, description. At the moment, this is pulling from the commit that I have here, which is uh, inserted or added a new file, I call this. So I'm just gonna hit create pull request. 
So at this point, nothing is merged because you don't have write permission to the Hello World repo. Uh, but at this point, you have the chance to comment, comment on specific lines, ex uh, change files if you want to. Uh, but that's pr pretty much it. If we head over to here now, you can see that we've got a pull request open and we can review these. And this should also notify you by email as well. So we're back over to the original repository um, and we see that a pull request is created and we can do all the usual stuff. As the owner of this repo, once I decide that I'm happy with the changes, I can then merge them in. Now you can merge from the command line, but in this case, I always find it quicker and easier just to click merge like here, merge pull request, and then we'll go ahead and confirm the merge. And that will then automatically close the pull request for you. And if we head over there, you can see that that new file now exists in the original repo. And that's it. We've basically contributed to a project from a fake account with a pull request.